What's shaking, folks? Back with another reaction. Back at long last with some more Thompson Twins. I do want to apologize as I've continued to expand the number of deep dives I'm doing. Um, it's just inevitably making it a little harder to get around to everything in a timely fashion. Uh, but make no mistake, my plan is to continue on not just through the rest of this album, but with more Thompson Twins after that. So, yeah, uh, we're back with an another tune from the 1983 album Quick Step and Sidekick. An album title I'm still amused by, I have to say. I enjoy the sort of kinetic... Um, quality of the the phrase. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to listen to Kamikaze. Uh, it's a single word title which are, you know, they tend to be more opaque, a uh, bit, bit more difficult for me to speculate about or at least to have any sense of which direction the term and concept will be running. But in this case, I do think that, you know, it's fair to say that oftentimes, um, even if it's not in relation to specifically like Kamikaze pilots in World War II, the idea of kamikaze as it's come to be used as a sort of like international term, certainly like it's used in English as a sort of like, you know, adopted or loan word. Uh, the idea is that you can achieve your aim even if it means self-destruction. So, you know, engaging in an action which will destroy you, whether that is literally in a physical or biological sense or in a like social or emotional sense, but you may be able to achieve whatever aim. Um, and again, the fact that that aim is in the context of the metaphor of violent aim, once again, if that's in the emotional territory or like the social territory, um, that has all sorts of interesting implications. So, kamikaze makes me think of a set of actions which are self-destructive and yet purposeful um, toward achieving a particular aim even at the expense of one's own existence, even if that's not in a literal sense. So let's find out if it has anything to do with that. This is Thompson Twins. The term, or the term, uh, the song is Kamikaze and it's from their 1983 album Quick Step and Sidekick. Oof. Heavy and dark. Maybe sounds like a mid 20th century bomber or something.
faded telegraph, or again, sort of like metal, sort of like creaking in the wind. Good lord, what a tune. I didn't pick up on everything lyrically, but it does sound like someone was going to engage in action which they knew would lead to their demise in one sense or another. The sort of like wishing goodbye to everyone and sort of, you know, sorry I have to do this. Um, so yeah, not quite sure what's going on lyrically in a, a wider sense, um, but I am curious because ultimately I heard enough to think that maybe there is something to that idea of a sort of an action which is in one sense suicidal, but which in another sense can achieve whatever they're um, aiming for. I love the sort of tone of the track. It, again, it had this sort of heavy like bass drone and this high sort of synth, so there was a bit of tension, um, high and low, but also the sort of xylophone runs, which were, there were a couple of different iterations of them. So it's another tune that had like a darkness, but also sort of like a lightness or like a brightness to it. Um, in that moment, you know, it's made me think like there's one or two OMD reactions from like their self-titled uh, album, and I'm now going through organization. It was giving me like a little bit uh, of vibes that I've heard from them on one or two tracks. Um, and again, I don't know if that's like just my brain like sort of getting wires crossed. Uh, but in that moment, I was sort of thinking like, man, it reminds me of one or two tracks I've heard from them. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, a really cool track. And ultimately, as I said, I will try to continue to go through Thompson Twins hopefully in a little bit more uh, speedy uh, manner. But once again, I'll go like a few days where I'm trying to get around to all the reactions and then there's always like one or two groups. So it's like, oh crap, I haven't done that group in like two weeks. So um, inevitably it will happen more. Hopefully I will keep um, Thompson Twins in mind. Uh, but if I do go more than like a week or so, if I go like 10 days or something, just send me a comment, you know, just write a comment. And most comments show up on the YouTube studio comment bar. Every once in a while, like, you know, I'll, it'll show that I'm up to date and then I'll go to a video and there's a comment where someone's asking me a question from like four days earlier and it never showed up in my comment feed. It's like, wait, like what the heck? Um, but normally comments do show up in my YouTube studio feed. So um, yeah, again, if I go a long time without reacting to something that I've started uh, and you're wondering whether I may have forgotten, it is entirely possible. So just comment and let me know. Other than that, let me know what you think of this tune. I'll see you next time. Peace.